Hi, welcome to Tea with Jan. I am Jan. <laughs> Today we are going to check out this cold brew coffee or tea maker that I purchased and I think I paid $32 Canadian. I'll put all the prices uh, somewhere here. Yeah. <laughs> the brand is Soul Hand. I don't know, I just found it online and thought it looked pretty. Let's see, it says life begins after coffee. I'm gonna change that to life begins after tea. <laughs> it holds 48 ounces or 1500 milliliters. The description on the back, it says chic felt design, 100% ceiling lid, make iced tea or cold brew coffee fix, make fruit infusions, easy to pour spout, reusable stainless steel filter, durable and easy to use. I already have it unpackaged, but I wanna show you what it looks like when it came. It was very well packaged, and I know that that is, you know, a concern for some people. So you can see how it's, the foam is all shaped out for it. And, oh, it gives us a little bit of a guide. It says, cold water brewing. Cold brewing relies on time. <laughs> this produces a completely different flavor profile, one that is smooth and mellow. This is because many of the sweeter flavor compounds are soluble even in cold water, but the oils and acids are not. Cold brewing coffee is strong in regards of the grounds to water ratio and caffeine content, but it does not taste harsh or bitter. So how to make it. So these are the tips that they give us. Okay, let's just dive into it. <laughs> I can't wait to show you it. So that's what the packaging looks like. So kind of nice, right? I liked how it was very together. And this is what it looks like. So I have gone ahead and um, washed it all up and I took it apart and so far, I haven't used it yet. We're gonna use it together. What I find is that, and it might just be my hands, is that this is a little bit difficult on my hands to get off. When you get this off, so this is the lid, this here is the collar and, and the spout, and these two pieces are plastic, but inside it does have this removable uh, steeping basket, and it's very, very fine mesh. So when you're done steeping, you can take that out and then leave your cold brew in this jug, which I think is like beautiful. And maybe I'll see if I can get like a two liter pop bottle to kind of compare it, to put it side by side, to see, you know, like if you were storing it in your fridge, where where's it gonna go? <laughs> so then this here comes off for cleaning as well. And I find that this is just, it's rubber rubber gaskets, and then this is all plastic. This is all glass. I love how it has the measurements up on the side so it shows you how much you're putting in. I think it's just spectacular that way. So let's see. So this just pushes back down. Basket goes in, and there is like a little uh, handle too that you can pull out. So, cute little handle. You push that down and then the handle just lays flat in there. I thought today we could steep up Cup of Tay's Nomsberry Delight. I know I absolutely adore this tea when it is steeped hot and then iced. So, like a traditional iced tea. And it does have some finer bits, so I wanna see if it gets through this filter. Oh, it smells so good. So the ingredients are organic. Everything's organic. Let me just say that for a cup of tea. It's rose hips, green rooibos, hibiscus, raspberry bits, and stevia leaf. So good. Okay. And you always want to use, you know, more than you would for, um, like, hot steeping. Actually, just gonna put the rest of it in it. Finished off that one. <laughs> so that is about, um, I'm gonna say I used 10 to 12 scoops and this is going to make mm, 800. Let me fill this up with some water and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just ran to the kitchen, I filled this up 
and you can see it releasing already. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put the lid on this. You're gonna throw it in the fridge for six to eight hours. Then I'll check back in with you. I think this lid and me don't get along. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Nope. There we go. All right, <laughs> so pretty already, I love it. And I just filled that up with cold tap water. See you back here, six to eight hours. Well, for you, it'd be like instant. Boop! <laughs> and there we go, it's been about eight hours. <laughs> it looks so brilliantly red, like that is gorgeous. Uh, when I look at it through the light, it actually doesn't look like anything seeped through or anything from the filter. We're gonna take the filter out. So remember this lid that my hands don't like as much. It might just need to be worked in. Okay. There we go. This smells wonderful, by the way. And there, like, that is so pretty. Like, I don't, I don't even think the light is gonna show that up. Let's have a taste. So I do know what this tastes like. Steeped hot and then iced. So let's try it this way, cold steeped. Oh, very interesting. That is, <laughs> Delightful. It's definitely uh, not as tart as I remember. It's still tart, but it almost feels like you can taste like different levels of berries and stuff. It's just, I really like that. I mean, I love this blend anyways, but. Okay, so I thought I'd pop in and I guess figure out how we're gonna clean this because we didn't talk about that. And that is one thing that is always concerning to me. So I have a paper here and what I would normally do would be to kind of dump it out. Ooh. And I got most of it out just by dumping it. But this here small Wonder Woman spatula, which must be Jeanette's, can kind of help get that out. So we don't want this going down the sink drain. This is kind of like easily, I could easily Bend this. I mean, I'm super strong, but I <laughs> just, just joke. No, not. Anyways, we're gonna try rinsing this and see what happens. Okay, so that wasn't too bad, actually. I thought it was gonna be much worse. And then I'm just gonna fold this up and put it in compost. There you have it. I'll leave all the links down below if you are interested in this. I really like the shape of this. I was gonna see if I can um, compare this to a pop bottle. So the size of a pop bottle and this. So when you're trying to put it into your fridge. Now when you set them down, Actually, the pop bottle is slightly taller than this cold brew, but yeah. Slightly, like maybe this much thicker, just at the, the biggest point than the cream soda. Yum. <laughs> Anyways, there you have it. I will see you down in the comments below. Until next time, take care. Bye. Mm. We are going to enjoy this.